seven people M N O P Q R and S stay in an eight storied building with the lowermost floor numbered as one and so on. Right, so basically the lowermost floor is numbered one, then the floor above is number two, number three, and so on. One of the floors is vacant. Yeah, so seven people, seven floors, and then one floor is vacant. So that makes it eight floors, right? So that eight floor building is balanced here. So one of the floors is vacant. Each of them like a different fruit among banana, apple, plum, orange, papaya, pear, and mango. Yeah, so seven fruits have been given to us, and each of them likes one of these fruits. And not necessarily in the same order. The arrangement is based on the following rules. Some rules have been given based on these rules. We have to complete the arrangement. Yeah. So let's try it out. Now, if you see, there are seven people. Count is important. M N O P Q R and S who stay in a eight floored building, eight floor building or eight story building, of which one of the floors is vacant. Right. Remember that one of the floors is vacant here. Yeah. The lowermost floor is numbered one. The floor above is number two, and so on, as usual. And then there are seven different fruits: banana, apple, plum, orange, papaya, pear, and mango. Not necessarily in the same order. The arrangement is based on the following rules. So let's understand these rules, uh, like what we usually do, right? Try to pictorially. I mean, try to represent these rules pictorially, and then complete the arrangement. I think the base to start with will be listing down the floor numbers, right? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Right? There can be multiple possibilities which we'll consider here uh, in different columns. But let's first represent the given rules pictorially. So the first statement says S lives on an even numbered floor. S lives on an even numbered floor. What does it mean? S will belong to either two or four or six or eight. So there are four possibilities. If you want to start with this statement, there are four possibilities. Yeah. Then the floor immediately above or below the one in which S resides is vacant. The floor immediately above or below the one in which S resides is vacant. Yeah. So the vacant floor can be like number one or number three, number three or number five, number five or number seven, number seven. Yeah. So there are like multiple possibilities, right? For the vacant floor, it, it depends on which floor that uh, which which floor uh, S takes. Then there is a gap of four floors between the one who likes mango and the vacant and the floor that is vacant. So there is a gap of four floors between mango and the vacant floor. So how do you represent this pictorially? Uh, let's say let's say if this is uh, mango. Then there should be one, two, three, four, and then there should be the vacant floor. Right? There is a gap of four floors, and these can be interchanged. It can be vacant dot 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 mango or mango dot 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 vacant. So that's about this. Uh, third clue that is given to us, right? So we have, since we have pictorially, uh, and since we have represented this pictorially, we we can mark this as a red statement. Yeah, this also is done. Then Q likes apple and lives immediately below the one who likes papaya. So Q likes apple and lives immediately below the one who likes papaya. So Q likes apple and lives immediately below the one papaya would mean what? If this is papaya, immediately below papaya should be apple, and that will be liked by Q. That's a Pictorial representation, right? Q likes apple and lives immediately below the one who likes papaya. So who likes papaya is not known to us, but apple and papaya are together, right? And apple will be below papaya. There is a gap of one floor between the one who likes papaya and the floor that is vacant. So there is a gap of one floor, one floor between the one who likes papaya and the floor that is vacant. So basically, uh, it can be like vacant. Dot papaya. Again, these two can be interchanged, right? It can be vacant dot papaya or papaya dot vacant. R's immediate neighbors like pear and papaya. R is between pear and papaya, basically, right? R's immediate neighbors like pear and papaya would mean what? Uh, if it is papaya here and this is pear, R would be in between them, right? And these two again can be interchanged. It can be papaya R pear or pear R papaya. P lives above M and M likes neither papaya nor ban banana. P lives above M. Now this is a this is not a very clear statement. P lives above M need not necessarily mean that P is immediately above M, right? P is above M, which means M can be on first floor, P can be on eighth floor. Even that is possible. P has to be above M, and M likes neither papaya nor banana. So I think we will use it as I mean once once we get some. Set of possibilities. Then there is. Then he says there are four floors between the ones who likes orange and banana. One who likes orange stays on a floor higher than the one who likes banana. So I think this is some uh, valuable information here, right? Look at what it says. 
one second yeah look at the statement he says there are four floors there are four floors between orange and banana and orange stays on a floor higher than the one who likes banana so clearly orange will come above banana and there are four floors between orange and banana so if it is orange then we need to have four floors between orange and banana yeah orange is above banana very clearly and n does not like papaya so statements which have not been underlined here have not been represented pictorially we'll use them so where do we start with should we start with s lives on an even numbered floor or see even if you want to use this that q likes apple and lives immediately below papaya there are multiple possibilities we can say 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 all those cases are there uh, there are four floors between orange and banana this will reduce some number of cases yeah because let's, let's say for example orange is on eighth floor then seven six five four are vacant banana will come on third floor or seven and two or six and one so there are three possibilities for orange and banana but the challenge is no other statement is connected to orange and banana you're able to follow orange can either be on sixth floor or seventh floor or eighth floor accordingly banana will come on first floor or second floor or third floor but if you start with this we will not be able to do anything much after that because there are i mean other statements if you see are not connected to orange or banana yeah papaya is there in multiple statements yeah Uh, one more uh, observation so I think we we are not I mean it's not good to start with this particular statement another observation I have is this see we know that apple is liked by Q or Q likes apple and Q lives below the one who likes papaya now look at this statement it says R lives between papaya and pear our confusion is will it be papaya R pear or pear R papaya so you try to connect with this this one right I mean try to connect these two points this one with this one I think if you mix these two, the only way out is we have we have R above papaya and P above R. See, R cannot be below papaya. Basically, the, the what are the possibilities? Let let me just highlight. I mean, let me explain this uh, in a different way, right? We have understood that there are two possibilities. It can be papaya R P R or P R R papaya. So let me draw both the possibilities. What will it give you? It will give you two possibilities. Papaya R Pear or Pear R Papaya. See, these all have to be understood mentally. You don't have to draw all this in the exam, right? So Papaya R Pear, we know that Papaya and Pear can be interchanged. So we get these two possibilities. Now, according to this case, case one and case two, let's say, according to case one, R is below Papaya. But we already know that Q is below papaya, according to this statement. Q likes apple and lives immediately below the one who likes papaya. Yeah? And here it says R are the, R's immediate neighbors are the ones who like pear and papaya. So, the, the, the clash here is Q and R both are below papaya, which means this cannot be considered. Yes or no? This statement very clearly says that Q is below papaya. This statement says R is below papaya. It's not possible. So, this, this is ruled out since there is another possibility for R. So now if I merge these two, what do we get? We get pear on top, followed by R, followed by papaya, followed by apple. Yes or no? Now we can merge these two. After merging these two, what do we get? Pear on top, followed by R, followed by papaya, and then immediately below papaya, we have apple with Q. So I think I can merge these two and write it. Yeah? So I'll, I'll do one thing. I'll clear this part and write only what is the final... Uh, result that we have got yeah so this is what we have pear then there's some fruit which is like by r then there is papaya then there is apple which is like by q that's the final arrangement of these four yes or no we don't know who likes papaya who likes pear and r likes what fruit but that's the arrangement pear followed by r followed by papaya followed by apple i mean downtrend right and apple is liked by q so i can clear all the uh, other sections here right this has been verified i mean this has been considered and this also has been considered 
So I'm trying to kind of merge, uh, you know, multiple pictorial representations that we have done to find out what can happen. Yeah. Now, if you see, uh, okay, I'm just trying to check if anything else can be done. We know that between papa and uh, vacant floor, there is only one floor's gap, right? Well, the where is this point given? There is a gap of one floor between the one who likes papaya and the floor that is vacant. So clearly, see, uh, there is a gap of one floor between the floor, vacant floor and the one who likes papaya. Papaya is fixed here. Vacant floor cannot be above papaya because already we have uh, understood that papaya, I mean the floor where, uh, I mean the person who likes papaya lives on a floor, above that person lives R and above that there is the person who likes peers. You understand? So clearly vacant floor has to come at the bottom. Here, this floor is vacant. The floor below Q is vacant. You getting it? Are you able to follow? Consider this point. Try to merge these two boxes now. This box with this one. Right? If at all, vacant floor has to come above papaya. We know that there should be a gap of one floor between papaya and vacant floor. Papaya is here. The gap of one floor can be this floor on which R stays. And the floor above should be vacant. But we have already concluded that the floor above is uh, the one where the person who likes peer lives. So this floor cannot be vacant. If this cannot be vacant, obviously vacant floor has to come below papaya. So vacant floor has to come here. Yes or no? And now this also is fixed. I mean, we have already considered this part. So I can erase the, that as well. Yeah. This is the final box that we are looking for. I hope you are able to follow this. So that way we have already got a clear uh, arrangement of many fruits and uh, persons there. Right? This is what we are looking for. Vacant floor has to come below apple. I mean, this time we are trying to do it a little differently, right? Vacant floor comes here. So this is the arrangement of five consecutive floors. Pier, then R, then papaya, then apple with Q, and the vacant floor. Yeah? Again, we have orange and banana with four floors in between, and mango and vacant floor having four floors in between. Yeah? I think this also can be uh, merged. The mango and vacant floor can also be merged here. Because you see, we the statement given to us is that there is a gap of four, four floors between mango and vacant. Now, if you try to take those, so there are two possibilities. It can be mango with four floors below that and then vacant floor or vacant floor with four floors below vacant floor and mango. Right? There are two possibilities. But, so, so basically vacant floor is already fixed, right? You can take one, two, three, four floors and then mango on top, which is possible. But can you take one, two, three floors below this? No. Because already you see one, two, three, four, five. Five floors have come. Already five consecutive floors have come here. Already five consecutive floors have come. Pier, R, Papaya, Apple, Q, Vacant. If you try to take four floors below vacant floor now, five plus four, nine, and then mango, ten. But you know that there are only eight floors. The building has got only eight floors. So basically, the vacant floors cannot be, uh, the, the four floors between mango and vacant here cannot be in a way that vacant is above mango. Vacant has to be below mango. I hope you are getting the point. Yes or no? If you really look at it, it can be taken in two ways. Vacant floor, one, two, three, four, followed by mango. Those are the two possible cases, right? Let me erase this. Now the question is, which of these two is correct? Which of these two is correct? The first one or the second one? The first one has to be correct. It cannot be the second one. Because already vacant floor is fixed here. Then you are saying there are four floors at the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five consecutive floors we have got. Then there are four floors at bottom. So five plus four already makes it nine. It's not possible. So the mango floor has to come above vacant. So one, two, three, four, and mango has to come above this. So this six consecutive floors we have already got. Yes or no? We've already got six consecutive floors. So I can clear all that other stuff now. Right? Let me let me just clear this up. So I think we are trying it out differently this time. Instead of taking all the four possibilities, we are trying to merge the pictorial representation so that we get one series of arrangement there. Yeah? So these are the six consecutive floors. Now let's try out. Anything else that can be done? No. So so let's try now. Uh, I think of all the underlying statements, we have got one and two items pict pictorial representative. Uh, okay, another point that we know is the floor immediately above or below the one in which S resides is vacant. 
So basically the floor immediately above or immediately below S should be vacant. Vacant floor is here. Immediately above it cannot be S. The S, S has to come immediately below vacant floor. Yes or no? I think I'll do one thing. I'll write the same. I mean, I, I need some space here. So I'll, I'll just rewrite this stuff. Mango pears. We don't know what fruit it is. Then R comes here. Then papaya. We don't know who is the person there. Then this is apple. Liked by Q. And there's a vacant floor. Yeah. So this is the consecutive floors that we have got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 consecutive floors. What else do we know? That the floor immediately above or immediately below the one in which S resides is vacant. So vacant floor is either immediately above S or immediately below S. Now if you see, can you say vacant floor is immediately below S? No, because vacant floor is actually immediately below Q here. So vacant floor has to be immediately above S. So S will come here in this floor. Yes or no? I'll, I'll clear this up because the same thing has been copied already. Sorry. I'm just clearing it up. Yeah, this, this portion I've copied on top here. Right, so our understanding tells that S has to come below the vacant floor. S cannot be above the vacant floor because above the vacant floor it is Q. And now it's very easy to complete. Where is the pen? And now it's very easy to complete. So we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 floors, right? Now the 8th floor can either be above mango or below S. The 8th floor can either be above mango or below S. The point is, if you take the 8th floor above mango, so this will become 1st floor, 2nd floor, 3rd floor, 4th floor, 5th floor, 6th floor, 7th floor and 8th floor. Which means S comes on 1st floor, but we know that S lives on even number floor. So S cannot come on 1st floor. S has to come on 2nd floor, which means the 1st floor is below S. So this is floor number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We are done. So this is not needed. We usually start like this, right? This is not needed. We have already got the arrangement, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now we will try to fill the gaps. Alright? So I think almost everything has been used. Use this point now. There are 4 floors between orange and banana and orange is above banana. So I think the only possibility is orange has to come here. Yeah, and four floors between orange and banana. One, two, three, four. This has to be banana. So I think in terms of fruit, six fruits have been done. The seventh fruit can be given for S, given to S. So banana is done. Yeah, apple, papaya, orange, apple, papaya, orange, pear and mango is done. Plum is left out and plum has to go for S. Plum comes here. Yeah. Now try to arrange the persons. So S, Q, R have been arranged. S, Q and R. Try to do the arrangement for other persons. There are four more persons, right? One floor is vacant anyway. Nobody will come here. But other floors. So what are the points that we did not read? P lives above M. P lives above M. And M likes neither papaya or banana. P lives above M. M likes neither papaya or banana. Huh. So look at this. P lives above M, right? P has to come above M. Right? There will be some floors between P and M or can be zero floor between P and M but P has to come above M. Now M, where is that point? M likes neither papaya nor banana. So M cannot come here because M does not like banana. This is anyway vacant floor. M does not like papaya, M cannot come here. So M has to come here and then P comes here because P lives above M, right? You cannot take M for 8th floor because if you take M on 8th floor, P will go on the ninth floor. So the only possibility is M likes P here, lives on 7th floor. And P likes mango, lives on 8th floor. So I think two more persons are done. P and M are also done. N and O are left out. What else is the point that we have not used? N does not like papaya. N does not like papaya. N cannot come here. So N has to come here. Yeah, N likes banana. And then O likes papaya. We are done. Sorry. O likes papaya. So this completes the arrangement. Yeah. So starting from floor number 1 to floor number 8, the order of fruits is banana, plum, blank, apple, papaya, orange, pear, mango and the order of persons is N, S, blank, Q, O, R, M, P.